Fate is one of the greatest Russian novels of the 20th century and sometimes people call it war and peace of the 20th century because it deals with war as the Second World War and it deals with peace what's happening behind the lines in Moscow but basically life and fate the novel and the show is about one family trying to survive in unsurvivable conditions you know with the with the war happening and with the uh, with politics dictatorship of Stalin and with uh, with Nazis, it's basically one family scattered all around the fronts of the Second World War, and some members of the family in Moscow. Uh, and basically, the show is about family, love, and trying to remain a human in conditions which are completely inhuman. You know, it's not a show where the audience laughs a lot, though the audience does, funnily enough. But it's a show where hopefully the audience goes out and thinks. And we've achieved that in Europe, definitely, because people were coming up after the show to the actors saying, you know, my uncle was fighting, you know, against the Soviet army at Stalingrad, or, you know, my aunt was taken to Auschwitz and we never saw her again. So it's, it's kind of the continuity of, the, of provoking the thought is working well. And in New York last summer, it went really well, was sold out. Uh, and what is most important for us, there was a lot, a lot, a lot of young audiences in New York and in Europe. And basically, young guys after the show were coming backstage saying to the actors, we never thought this is like it, what it was like. But it was exactly why Lev decided to do this show on stage, because when he started working with young acting students, uh, seven years ago, the, the ones who are now in the show, he realized they, they, to put it mildly, they don't do, know anything about the Second World War, about Holocaust, about Stalingrad battle, about their, you know, their allies. So he just wanted to, to make at least that group of young people that he was teaching to, to know their history and to have some, some social and personal memory of that. Животный инстинкт, да давай, читай свою душу, а в мою велесло! Слушай, Маницы, я как пытки не хочу, но должен тебе сказать, мы все ошиблись, мы недооценили свободы, мы ее раздавили, Макс ее не ценил, она снова, смысл, базис под базисом, без свободы ничего не может быть, вот теперь... В лагере в тайге мы должны сохранять нашу веру. Пускай это не сила, слабость, самосохранение. Там на воле самосохранения ведь люди меняться. Иначе они погибнут, попадут в лагерь. Здесь в лагере тот же самый зритель, там не меняться. Не хочешь покрыться деревянным шлагом, не меняйся. В лагерь на десятилетия. Будь коммунистом, исполняй свой партийный долг. Толенька, Людочка. Дайте мне силы. Для меня. 